What's going on guys and girls? We are here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to show you how to complete all mission tasks in mission 6 which is called Where Do The Bees Sleep? So in this mission there are six mission tasks to complete. I'm going to complete them all in the one playthrough. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Uh, if you have ones that you just want to complete uh, on your own and uh, you just got one or two you can actually come through and just complete those two and then uh, make sure you just finish the mission and it will count to completing those tasks. And what we want to do is I'm just showing you all the mission tasks that you can do. Uh, as you can see I've already done them before because they've all got text next, next to them. Uh, but if you go through, as you're going through the mission and you complete them uh, you can actually see which ones you have completed because they will become highlighted so those are the ones you completed in this mission and so what we're going to do is we're just going to hop onto D horse and we're going to head off into uh, this mission so what uh, I'm going to do is I end up S ranking this mission as well so if you want to be able to S rank it and get all the mission tasks at the same time you can do that and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that um, the other thing is there are a couple of things you need for the mission. This one is you need a rocket launcher. So you're going to want to have um, selected the rocket launcher as your um, like secondary primary weapon. Your second primary weapon. Uh, that is because we are going to eliminate the gunship, which is the sixth mission task on this uh, in this mission. So the first one we're going to complete is extract the two snipers at the mountain relay base base this is uh quite far away so as we're just running there i'm just going to talk about the other ones uh we're also going to extract the prisoner who cannot speak in this video i do it um in a way that most people probably won't do it uh so i'm going to explain that a bit further on in the video and i'm also going to put timestamps for each of these um, mission tasks in the description so if you want to uh, skip to the one that you want to know about then you can actually just go to the description of this video and just click on the timestamp and it'll take you right there uh, the other ones are uh, extract the honeybee with its amu am ammunition intact. Man, that's a hard word to say. Uh, and then the other one is eliminate the skulls. So those two are both uh, right at the end of this video. So what we're going to do now is we are ending up at the base where we're going to extract the two snipers. So first of all, I'm going to uh, uh, just make sure I get these guys right here. So I'm going to select my tranquilizer gun so that I'm not too noisy. Uh, even though my other gun has a sniper... Uh, silencer on it, it, it can actually be a lot easier to attract attention with it. Uh, they just seem to notice when someone's dead rather than when they've just gone to sleep. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure these guys are both gone, uh, put to sleep. I end up missing that one right there. And then I'm going to show you exactly where the snipers are. So the first one is actually in this um, guard post right here. Uh, guard tower. And the other guy is in the scaffolding beside the bridge just down here. So those are two guys I'm going to mark first. Then the prisoner that you want to find is right there. He's the one that you want. And then I'm also going to show you all of the guards just so you can see where exactly where they are. And it's also helpful to mark them uh, just so you know exactly where they are as you're walking around the base. And there is another guy right there. So the only guy that I didn't mark is he is walking across the scaffolding beside the bridge. Uh, he is um, just one of the annoying guys uh, during this mission that you just have to look out for. So what we're going to do is we're going to run across here. The reason I'm going around here is so I can keep running as long as I can. And then just sneak down beside this guy and take him out. So I'm going to use the tranquilizer gun again here. Um, I do end up uh, just... I started off trying to do this mission without um, getting... Uh, too many kills and then I ended up just uh, in the end of the mission you actually end up having to eliminate the skull so you have to end up killing some guys anyway so I just uh, decide to abandon that later on uh, now this is the sniper so we're just going to sneak up on him and grab him so once we have grabbed him we are going to choke hold him until he ends up passing out and then we're going to carry him out of the um, watchtower and so that we can fault and extract him now if you do have the um, wormhole fault and extraction device you can just extract him right there and then uh, that is uh, one of the very much later missions uh, not missions uh, later um, developments that you end up being able to complete later on. So this guy right here is the guy that I was talking about before. He's one of the annoying guys because he's walking up and down here and we want to travel along this area. So I'm just waiting here so that he's close enough so I can get him. Right this. And I end up missing him. And I did end up alerting someone else 
to that so because of my shot I missed and if you dive like that you can actually just make that dive really easy so that is um, pressing the dive button which on PlayStation it is square uh, so on Xbox I'm guessing that will be X and then on PC I'm sorry I don't know which button that would be uh, but you most likely already know what button that is going to be uh, and I'm also just crawling along this here because the guy up there was noticing uh, some strange activity so we just want to make sure that he doesn't um, alert the others and we are going to head down here so just down here is where you'll find the sniper uh, he could be at a different level depending on how um, long it's taking you to get to this point uh, because they do move around all the guards slightly move around a little bit so if you just heard the engine uh, start up of that vehicle, that is the vehicle carrying um, the prisoner. He is just being uh, transported to the next uh, base that we are going to end up traveling to. That's where the honeybee is located. Uh, this sniper guy we're just going to carry up here and we're going to make sure we're going to take these guys out as well. We're just going to allow them to go into reflex mode. It just makes it a lot easier to get these two guys and we're going to put them to sleep and then we're going to extract this guy so this is the last uh, one of the two snipers that we have to extract um, you can actually tell that the snipers just by the guns that they have they have very long barreled guns and that we I showed you those are where that most likely they're going to be uh, now we're just going to whistle deep horse so that we can uh, catch up to this vehicle we're going to hide from this guy here just by going on to the other side of D horse uh, that's a very useful feature I'm going to use a couple of times in this video uh, just up here now the next one we're going to do is as I said we're going to extract the prisoner who cannot speak uh, you do not have to do it like I'm going to do this is just how it ends up um, happening uh, usually I end up getting to the next base when these guys are already at the next base about this time I ended up being a lot faster through this mission and ended up uh, just overtaking these guys uh, in the vehicle so as you can see they're right there and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do something that surprised me so much when I decided to try and do this is we're going to stop the vehicle uh, by getting rid of all of the guys so this guy's spotted me it's gone into reflex mode I'm going to actually start shooting at him but because he is actually a moving target you have to shoot in front of them them, and we're going to shoot that guy headshot and the last guy we're going to get the driver there headshot and now all of the guards in the vehicle are just going to fall out of the vehicle uh, that was actually so amazing when I did it I can't believe I actually did that and then what we're going to do is the prisoner is still in the vehicle and you can just extract the entire vehicle and get the prisoner now if you don't have the fault and device uh, upgraded enough to extract the vehicle you can just take the prisoner out and get him uh, extract him like that uh, I just want to also get to the vehicle as well so there's also these two guards that are uh, walking along the road so what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of them uh, the reason I'm doing this is I just want to get rid of uh, as many guys as I can as quickly as possible so instead of putting to sleep I'm just going to shoot them the next up we're going to uh, actually eliminate the gunship so what we're going to do is we're just going to head this way um, and eventually you'll get to a point where um, the gunship will be patrolling so he's actually patrolling between about this area and quite far along uh, further along the road uh, just up here there's also a little outpost that you have to be wary of so uh, you want to just head, head down the valley right here and this will also get you to the point where you can take out the gunship so this is why we brought the uh, missile launcher the rocket launcher uh, or you could call it the rocket propelled grenade I think that's what it's actually called um, and we are going to get this gunship so you just go to your iDroid and you can actually see the gunship he is uh, right there he will just patrol up and down this valley and what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure we get close enough to him so that we can see him and then we're just going to shoot the rocket launcher at him so uh, to do this what you want to do is you want to make sure that you shoot the rocket launcher in front of where he is because the rocket launcher the rocket takes a while to get there so you just want to make sure you shoot it in front of the guy uh, so I'm just going to make sure I'm shooting it up see as he's heading straight towards us uh, just shoot it a little bit higher than where he is and we end up hitting him and that is that mission task complete very simple and easy uh, and the next one we're going to do is we're going to secure the honeybee then we're going to eliminate the skulls and we're also going to do it without uh, using any of the honeybees ammunition so to do to eliminate all the honey uh, the skulls without using the ammunition what we're going to do is we're going to use grenades I have it, uh, it upgraded so that I have um, eight grenades uh, if you don't have eight grenades yet you can still probably try and do this with uh, four grenades and then just uh, with your uh, shoot your weapon 
Uh, that's end up what I, I end up doing. I didn't use. I used all eight grenades, uh, but I missed a couple of times. You can actually get rid of all of them with um, just over four grenades. So you'd need uh, four grenades and a little bit of firepower to get rid of them. Uh, these are also all the guards around here. Did you see that other guard that had a really high level stuff? And I was like, oh man. I wish I wasn't doing a video, I would so totally extract him right now, but I was like, oh, uh, nope, I have to continue on with the mission task. So this guy right here is going to be a little bit annoying, so we're going to get rid of him right now. Uh, like that. You can actually move a lot closer before shooting him if you're not that great of a shot. I also have a red dot uh, sight on uh, my weapon, which is also a uh, further upgrade uh, that you get later on. So the next thing we're going to do is there is a guy that is actually just behind this area here. So we just want to make sure that he doesn't spot us. He patrols up and down this section right here. So you just want to make sure he doesn't get he spot you, but you can take him out right there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to run inside the building. Now what we're going to the way we're going to do this is we're just going to keep running and then use the reflex mode anytime anyone spots us. So uh, as you can see just up here, we're going to get uh, reflex mode right here because this guy's going to see us and we're just going to take him out really quickly like that. So we're just going to head towards the honeybee. Uh, if you already have um, played this mission before, you'll know exactly where it is. Uh, I'm just going to try and take the quickest route that I know. I'm not sure if this is the quickest route because um, crawling down this tunnel takes a little bit of time. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I just decided to go this way. And once you get through the tunnel up here, we are just going to head this way. There's also this guard right here so that we are just going to make sure he doesn't spot us. Um, you can just shoot him. I end up uh, taking him out like this with a combat uh, Q, was it? CQC. I always want to start with a Q, but it's a close combat, um, com close quarters combat. And then there's this guy over there. We're just going to make sure we get rid of him so that he doesn't alert anyone. And there's also going to be this guy right here uh, we're going to take out. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to get the honeybee. As you can see, it's located uh, just within this area. It's also marked on the map. And we just run through here and pick it up. And so that is the mandatory mission complete. So now what we're going to do is we are going to extract ourselves out of this area as fast as we can. Uh, there are two more things we have to do. We have to not use the honeybee ammo and we also have to, have to uh, face the skulls. So as we're running out of here, I'm just going to run into two guys. As you saw, I just made sure I had my um, grenade selected. The reason for that is because that's what I'm going to be using against the skulls. There are these two guys right here that I haven't met before, so I'm just going to make sure I tranquilize them so that I don't get any combat alerts and then what we're going to do is we're just going to exit out of here with the cutscene so the cutscene we're just going to skip uh, mainly for time purposes but also for spoilers and the next one we're also going to skip right here so there are two cutscenes right after each other and we're just going to skip this one so now we are facing the skulls and we are going to make sure we have our grenades selected and we're just going to be throwing our grenades at them I do have it researched so that I have eight grenades it is good to have eight grenades uh, by the time you try and do this um, but you can um, try and do it when you have only four grenades. Um, the first time I went through this, I did end up getting all of them just by using my grenades. But this time I didn't, so I have to use my gun. So what you want to do is you just want to keep shooting at them until they run out of all their health. Uh, this time I almost died, as you can see right here. I'm just like, oh no! So I thought I wasn't going to get it, and then I thought I wasn't going to be able to show you guys that awesome takedown of the um, vehicle um for the prisoner um also if you did miss the prisoner you didn't get the prisoner like i did you can actually get him at this base right here before you get the honeybee and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we don't die so this is um just how i ended up doing it it's going to be different for anyone who plays this um and we're just going to dive down behind here so that we can heal ourselves without being hit by the skull guys and this guy is the last guy we have to take out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stand up here and start shooting at him. He is going to end up teleporting close to us. So what you could do is you could place like some claymores uh, really close to you. Uh, so that he might end up landing on the claymore and doing some more damage like that to him. And what we do is we just turn over here after he hits us and we shoot him and he's dead. And so that's it. We have completed it uh, without using any ammunition. And now all we have to do is extract out of the hot zone. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set a landing zone for 
for our helicopter and then we're going to kill all the d-horse now i'm not sure i don't think you can climb up that area over there um you might be able to i'm pretty sure you can't so what i do is end up calling d-horse and we're going to leave the area uh through the road and you can't it doesn't matter that you're running along the road because there are no more enemies around um even if you didn't get the uh, destroy the helicopter and this um, this time you play through it the helicopter doesn't seem to be around uh, when you leave the mission area anyway so what we're gonna do is we're just heading towards the helicopter there's not much other to say um, so we've completed every single uh, mission task the only one that hasn't got a tick next to it at the moment is the one where it is um, you know extract out of the mission without using the honeybee ammunition so uh, that one is the only one that hasn't got a tick next to it because of the fact that it doesn't get a tick until you actually finish the mission and it counts it right at the end right there. Um, so as we're doing, we're just running out of the mission area uh, as quickly as we can. So what we're going to do is, there's not much else other to say. I do um, think there might be some guys down in that um, little outpost right beside on the right hand side of us. Uh, or left hand side, sorry. And so we just want to make sure we don't um, get spotted by them. If they are there, uh, most of the guys in the mission area are now gone because of the skulls that have arrived. And now we're just going to get into the helicopter so that we can extract out of the hot zone. And that's going to be it. So uh, we are now going to just wait. So as you can see, all of the mission tasks that I have completed have got highlighted ticks next to them. The one that I haven't yet hasn't got a highlighted tick. And that does get completed because of the fact we don't use any of the uh, ammunition and it does end up getting a tick. Uh, you just can't see it because you have to wait for the end of the mission. So now it's just going through all the things that I've unlocked as we're waiting for the um, um, scoreboard to show up. And there we go. We have got a score of 202,000 points. We get an S rank. And as you can see, the main contributors are uh, eliminating the skulls with 50,000, um, getting you know uh, no retries, uh, no combat alerts, um, securing all the ammunition and also um, getting hits taken from the skulls I got hit 11 times and that's only a hundred points for every hit you get taken so that actually doesn't take a lot off and also, of course also the time in 15 minutes I get 68,000 points so that's all I'm gonna do for this video so thank you guys for watching I hope you've enjoyed it hopefully you guys have been able to get the mission tasks and maybe s rank it and now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls and hopefully see you in the next video